Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation 1 Scourge and I love this toy. But before we check him out, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to consider subscribing to the channel. It won't cost you anything, but it will help me and the channel out. If you'd like to further help out the channel, please share with your friends. If you like what you see, take this video and share it on your social media. Have your friends come over, check out the channel, and subscribe as well. Now that we're losing our community options and our notifications, the best way to keep up with the channel is to come back and check it out often. I usually upload one to two videos a week, sometimes more. Finally, if you want to further help out the channel, I have placed the donate button up at the top banner. If you want to click on that, I certainly would appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and now let's go and check out this figure. And here we have Scourge out of the box and in his hovercraft mode. And if you saw the video that Patriot Prime and I did together from 80s Toys of West Virginia, this is that high quality KO or unofficial reissue, uh, whatever you want to call it. This is that figure that you saw me pick up in that video along with Springer. So real quick, I did want to show off what he comes with in the box itself. So if you are out there hunting and you're keeping an eye out or you want to make sure that you're getting a G1 original and maybe not a re you know, unofficial reissue or high quality KO and you're looking out for that kind of thing. Uh, here's a couple of things to look at. You always want to look at the box, read everything in the box. You may find some spelling errors in the um, in the box. That's obvious. That's obviously going to be a, a, a red flag indicator that that's a KO. Uh, you want to look at the spacing for the lettering, things like the assortment number. Sometimes they're going to be oddly spaced or right down here. You, you want to look at all the tiny type here and uh, make sure that everything is evenly spaced and it looks right. Uh, look at, t you know, bring your phones with you, have lots of pictures for comparisons, that kind of thing. Now, a little bit of an easier telltale with this figure in particular is going to be the colors of the box, the purple and the black. The purple should go up a lot higher. You'll notice that there's a little more black than there is purple in the front of this box. It should be the other way around. This purple should be coming almost all the way up to the top. Uh, and there should be very minimum amount of black. Uh, behind that box there. So that's that's a clear indicator as well. The grid is going to be uh, a lot uh, dimmer on the original. You'll notice how easy it is to see the, the, the grid behind him here and this yellow sun kind of part thing here. You'll see how easy and how distinct the grid is back there. This should actually be faded out and that grid should be a little dimmer back there. And then the yellow sun itself should be a little smaller. You'll notice how it's very close to the edge of the box on the side and on the bottom. That should actually be smaller on the original. And then another thing you're going to want to look for is look at the figure inside, look at the stickers. The factory applied stickers are not going to be on the, you know, what were factory applied in the G1 figure they're not going to be applied on the fig on the uh, ko's or the unofficial reissues so you'll you take a look at the figure if there's no stickers on them there's a good chance that they are ko's so just a couple of things to look at we'll set the box off to the side and we'll take a look at scourge right here uh and he comes with his gun which there you go that's his gun and there's nowhere to put it in vehicle oh he also comes with this thing this comes separate the i guess that's that's a thing that he comes with uh, that you have to pop on his head and then it just stays there. You don't really ever do anything with this. I suppose you could take it off and use it as a weapon, but he never did it in the cartoon. It doesn't show you in the instructions, anything like that. So there you go. So there's that. And then the weapon, unfortunately, there's nowhere to put the weapon on here. So we got a rub symbol on here and it does work. And again, this rub symbol was not installed or applied. This comes on a sticker sheet. It comes in a little, its own little separate sticker sheet and you have to put it on yourself. But there you go. You can uh, see, hopefully, if I get some zoom in or some focus there, you can kind of see it there. It, it is working. I think it's showing, It's not showing off that great in uh, in the camera, but it does work. Uh, very cool little figure here. The hovercraft mode is approximately seven inches long, about two inches tall at the top of this little piece here. He rolls okay. I always thought this looked more like a boat than a hovercraft, but, you know, whatever. It's space. It's a space boat. I guess it's supposed to be a hovercraft. He does have these little wheels on the bottom there. So as you can see, he rolls fairly well. Uh, a little rattly, but, you know, he rolls He rolls better than Springer did. Uh, you know what? I never showed up the, uh, the rope symbol with Springer. Uh, tr uh, I guess, trust me, it works. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, not a whole lot else to say about this uh, vehicle mode, really. It just kind of looks like a little boat, a uh, little space boat kind of thing. You know, mostly uh, blue. it's just blue on blue, light blue with dark blues. And some red hints. 
and stickers. That's about it. Not, not a whole lot to say here. So getting in the transformation, we're going to start with the side panels here and just kind of pop these up. You, you kind of have to take these four pieces here and just kind of separate them all at once. So you want to pull down on these guys, pull out on these guys, all kind of at the same time, and then extend these all the way out. Turn these legs. I always get these wrong. Okay, yeah, we're going to turn these so that these are facing up. And panels, panels, panels. They're going to get in your way. There we go. Take these panels, move them back. Take the legs, bring them all the way back. And you're probably seeing what is probably my biggest gripe with this figure. I do have a gripe with this figure. There we go. Bring that all the way back and then bring the feet up. Like that and like that. Let me move that to the side. That's probably just ruined. Okay, then. Um, take this piece right here. Bring it back. And then these uh, pieces, when they fold back, you're going to notice that they're going to fit right over this piece here and here. <clears throat> bring the head up and bring the chest closed. You can bring his little arms out. We're going to give him his weapon. And there you go. There is... Let's get him all feet all straightened out here. And there is Scourge in his robot mode once i get them all straightened out in the camera back up again so uh yeah looks looks pretty cool i guess people say this is the first shell former and i suppose they're right because there's a whole lot of shell right there on this back with them so here in robot mode scourge is approximately seven and a half inches tall and he's a very good approximation of the animation that we saw in the movie uh now right off the bat you can probably see what my biggest issue with this figure has been is that, uh, I mean, from the first time I transformed them, after I put the stickers on, from the first time I transformed them, it, the, the legs just keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. I've done my best to try and preserve the stickers until I reviewed them, uh, and I literally just destroyed them transforming them here in front of you. Uh, so that has been my biggest gripe, is that the legs are always rubbing on the stickers during transformation and just absolutely destroying them. That may be a quality issue with this KO figure. I checked in with my friend Patriot Prime, uh, who has an actual original G1 Scourge, and he has never had a problem with his legs rubbing on his sticker. So it's possible that that is an issue of this being a um, a KO. I don't know, but got to point that out. Uh, as far as articulation goes, uh, all he's going to do really is move his shoulders forward and backwards, and then his elbows can bend. And his um, wrists can also rotate. So I guess you can kind of <laughs> do that. Uh, that's about it. Nothing at the knees, really. Uh, nothing at the leg. I guess the, the hips can turn outwards a little bit, but you got so much shell on those legs that there's really no purpose in him being able to do that, other than just kind of straightening out his legs. Uh, that's, that's really about it. <laughs> so, yeah, very simple figure. Very cool looking figure, though. It looks fantastic up on the shelf with his fellow Decepticons, especially if you have the ones from the movie. Real quick, uh, here he is with his, oh my goodness, he's just back this guy up because they're not fitting. There he is with G1 Galvatron. Yeah. Uh, so you can see what those guys look like together. Of course, Galvatron was a leader figure, so he was meant to be big. But uh, yeah, that just, that's just, uh, <laughs> that doesn't work much very well, does it? Uh, but there, anyway, there he is. The Scourge. Cool figure. I really do like it. Uh, it's unfortunate that I've got that sticker rubbing issue on the legs. And again, I don't know if that's just a KO thing or, or if it... My only point of reference is, is Jason, Patriot Prime, um, who I talked to right after this happened. And uh, he just, we just compared it to his. So that's really kind of my only point of reference because this is a figure I've never had before. So, but again, uh, still... You know, for for the price, for what I got them for, and I got to get them brand new in the box, put the stickers on myself, destroy those stickers myself, uh, brand new figure, all of that good stuff. Uh, very, very happy with this purchase. And I think that about covers the Transformers Generation 1 high quality KO or unofficial reissue, take a pick, of... <laughs> <laughs> Transformers Generation 1 Scourge. Let me know what you think of this figure. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends if you like what you see. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.